Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm going to show you how I make my detox charcoal and turmeric face mask. This mask is simply amazing for your skin. It's going to help uh, deeply cleanse your skin. It's going to help absorb excess oil and dirt from your skin. It helps to relieve um, skin irritation. It's soothing on your skin as well. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. I'm going to show you step by step. So let's jump right in. And if this is your first time stopping by, my name is Esther and I make DIY natural hair and skincare videos. I'm going to weigh out my ingredients and the complete recipe will be in the description box. My first ingredient is bentonite clay. For sensitive skin, you can skip this ingredient. Next is kaolin clay. Kaolin clay is able to absorb excess oil from your skin and it's also mild and gentle on your skin and it helps to fight acne, detox and clear your skin. So now that I've weighed out the clay and the turmeric powder, I'm just going to set this aside. And the next thing I'm going to do is measure out my thickener. I'm going to be using xanthan gum for this. You can use any other thickener of your choice. Um, to my xanthan gum, I'm going to add some vegetable glycerin. This is going to hydrate the gum so that way um, there are no clumps um, when I put it in my final mixture and also glycerin helps to draw moisture to your skin as well. So this is what my xanthan gum is looking like. I'm just going to uh, set this aside and I'm going to work on the rest of my ingredients. Next ingredient is my distilled water. I'm also adding in some chamomile extract. This helps to soothe your skin. It has anti-inflammatory benefits. If you don't have this, you can leave it out. To this, I'm adding in some activated charcoal. Um, just be careful when you're um, using this. Um, you don't want to breathe in the powder. So I'm just adding that in. Um, charcoal helps to exfoliate your skin without stripping your skin of oil. To my xanthan gum mixture, I'm going to add in my preservative. Um, it's just the type of preservative I'm using. It needs um, glycerin or something to help it blend in uh, better. Um, so that's why I'm adding it in here. But if you use another preservative, you don't have to do this um, at this stage. Um, so I'm just going to mix uh, my preservative into my glycerin and xanthan gum uh, mixture. So I have my clay mixture and my water mix, so I'm just going to combine both of them together. Um, I will say just be patient when doing this because everything kind of clumped up together. Um, so you just want to take your time to really mix this in well so that way um, you can have a nice uh, smooth mask with no clumps and lumps. The 
the stick blender really helped to break apart the clumps of clay uh, but if you don't have one you can just use a hand whisk and just keep mixing till you get a smooth consistency and this is what it is looking like after mixing everything all in um, you get this nice creamy consistency And after adding in the xanthan gum, this is what the consistency is looking like. So it did thicken it up some more. Um, so it helps to give a more uh, stable consistency. Um, so I'm going to just uh, check the pH of this mask. Um, I've done several videos where I check the pH. Um, so it's pretty much what I do anytime I make a product. Um, I take out a small amount of my product add in some distilled water mix that in and then i use my uh, ph meter to read um, and i always aim for a ph range of 4.5 to 5.5 And our detox charcoal turmeric clay mask is ready um, this is a really lovely consistency and it applies so well on the skin it feels so good on the skin um, so I hope you enjoy this recipe and I hope you try it out um, but I'm going to uh, go on and package this up next um, this recipe made um, 10 ounces of product and I'll say the shelf life is up to six months so I recommend you use this up within six months So to use this mask, you can use this uh, two to three times a week. Um, if you've never used a face mask or clay mask, um, I would suggest you start off maybe once a week and then go up to two, see how your skin likes it. And of course you can make substitutions and changes that work better for you. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this recipe. This is such a lovely mask um, to use. Um, so definitely try this one out. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to hear from you all. Um, please don't forget to subscribe if you've not. Please turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos I upload. And also please like this video because that really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.